Hello my people, the title of this video is very simple. Help, I cannot hear God's voice. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessings, if you are new here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for tuning in today. Um, please be sure to always like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned because this is an important topic. This video came to mind um, as I was talking to someone recently and you know sometimes when we're stuck and we have to make decisions it's like I am struggling to hear what God is saying in this moment. God help me, God speak to me, God do you even want to speak to me and you get into this whole thing of God are you speaking to me, God can't speak to me, is God speaking, like it's like oh no 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 no. God desires to speak to his children. You know, if you've given your life to Christ, you have that access to the voice of God. Of course, his voice cannot be limited. He has spoken to people countless times, even though they're not Christians. But the point is that relationship, that dynamic, that continued, you know, love of talking to each other, that is what God desires. God is not a God of confusion. You know, the Bible says, you know, hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. And so he is one and he has one voice and he speaks. And when he speaks, it comes out. He's clear. You know, I mean, like he's not he's not trying to speak to you to confuse you. He will guide you even with his voice, um, because, again, we cannot box God. So it may appear like he's saying something but he's leading you to something bigger. And so ultimately, you cannot, it's like, have you ever heard you cannot worship God without God? You cannot interpret the voice of God without God. That is the important point. The first basic truth that I need you all to understand with me is that you hear the voice of God. Repeat after me. You hear, say, I hear the voice of God. Amen. Because sometimes we get into this whole thing of, we think that the voice of God is only for a select few or we think that the voice of God is only like God only wants to speak to prophets, which I don't know where we get that idea from. I mean, this isn't the Old Testament, but anyway, God bless y'all. Like, you know, you continue reading, you would recognize that God speaks to his people. And so God affirms um, Jeremiah and that's the person that we're going to actually be looking at today and his conversation that he has with God just to, I guess, demystify just a few things about the voice of God and, you know, talk about it more. So the first basic truth is that you hear the voice of God. Um, I will find the scripture because I, I think it could be in John. I could be wrong, but it talks about, um, you know, the Bible says my sheep, Jesus talking to um, a group of people and he says my sheep know my voice right um and there's another verse where it talks about and a stranger's voice they do not follow so the pure fact that jesus is our shepherd that jesus is who we are being led by means that you hear his voice because you are his sheep you're part of his group you're part of his um you know you're part of the jesus club so by the virtue of you being part of the Jesus Club, you hear his voice. Amen. So that is the basic truth that we're going to talk about. And um, I think oftentimes if we don't have that basic understanding, it can prevent us when God would want you to speak um, a word to someone, to speak to certain things um, in the spirit, to, to, make, to make certain steps. But because you feel as though that, oh, God doesn't speak to me. Your ultimate, you're going to just dismiss that thinking that it wasn't God. And now we wouldn't want that, would we? But the first thing I want to read is Jeremiah 1 verses 4 to 7. And it reads like this. The Lord spoke his word to me saying, before I made you in your mother's womb, I chose you. Before you were born, I set you apart for a special work. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Then I said, but Lord God, I don't know how to speak. I'm only a boy. But the Lord said to me, don't say I'm only a boy. You must go everywhere I send you and you must say everything I tell you to say. Don't be afraid of anyone because I am with you to protect you, says the Lord. Oh, and then it goes on to say in verse nine, then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth. He said to me, see, I'm putting my words in your mouth. Now, the reason why I touch on that is because we see that before even God now starts to, you know, give Jeremiah 
um words and tells him you know this is the word that you're going to share with people and um all that and oftentimes there's some of us that was we want to be excited to share words with other people but we're still unsure on the voice of god for ourselves and actually we see that with jeremiah god actually decides to affirm his position affirm his identity in him first before he goes out to go and share what he's thinking with other people we see the lord saying to jeremiah before you were born i set you apart for special work i appointed you as a prophet to the nations then i said but lord i don't know how to speak i'm only a boy we sometimes we say to god i'm only um 13 years old i'm only 19 i'm only this old i don't how can i I hear the voice of god how can i hear from god how can i this but no literally god is saying that you are his sheep and so you hear his voice and so because of that affirmation of your position in him that means that you do hear from him and it's from that place of god affirming you it's from that place of god telling you who you are that he wants you to receive from him so that is just the first thing I encourage you number one the basic truth that you hear the voice of god Number two is that God will continually to affirm your identity in him before you are ever called to speak on any other thing is that the identity, the core of who you are is that you are a loved child of God, that God knew you before you were even in your mother's womb. And so that is um, the core truth that we're holding on to today. And then we see later on... Um, Jeremiah the conversation between Jeremiah and God about the things that he's seeing and so the reason why I'm looking to this conversation is I think I must have asked a few years ago um well, I'm saying a few maybe like two years ago um not still a few I asked um a mentor I was like you know how do you um you know know that what this is you're, you're seeing is from the voice of god like sometimes we think we see the most strangest things or we hear the most strangest things or you know it seems like this how can this be god like mm -hmm. and the reason why we're looking to jeremiah's conversation is because we oftentimes god shows us things but we dismiss it because it doesn't appear to look like it's god but actually god was in the midst of that and so if we look at jeremiah chapter one from verse 11 um, we see that um, there's this conversation, this dialogue between the two and the Lord in verse 11, it says, the Lord spoke his word to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah answers, he says, I answered, I see a stick of almond wood. Verse 12, the Lord said to me, you have seen correctly because I am watching to make sure my words come true. The Lord spoke his word to me again. What do you see? I answered, I see a pot of boiling water tipping over from the north. The Lord said to me, disaster will come from the north and strike all the people who live in this country. And it goes on to describe basically what that that what he was seeing. Now, do you see how it is so easy to dismiss what the Lord is saying because it appears to be strange? It appears to be we don't understand. It appears to be confusing. It could be either the, the Lord has spoken to you in your dream and you're having you had a strange dream and you're like, ha -ha, this didn't mean anything. Or, you know, you're in your prayer time and you see you saw an image and you're like, I'm seeing a chicken. What has that got to do with anything? I'm seeing a red pen. What's that got to do with anything? I'm seeing, and so we dismiss it. Jeremiah saw an almond almond branch and a black pot, and you're telling me you don't hear the voice of God. When God, more time, God is even giving you a scripture that you can go to and find in the word and get the word. Yet Jeremiah is seeing an almond and he's getting a word from God. And so one thing I love that the Lord really um, says here is you have seen correctly. And so do you see how um, that bit of the Lord affirming what jeremiah is seeing like yes you have seen correctly this almond this weird thing that i'm showing you you have seen correctly this is my voice this is what i'm saying to you but this is what it means and so it's also an invitation that when god is speaking to us and showing us things either through his word through um visions through dreams through um our sense of smell i've had um it's it only happened once or twice where i've smelt things and god has spoken to me through that because that smell reminded me of something from maybe like five years back and so god can use any way and so we can't be limited and box god to be like oh no god only speaks xyz this way but god uses everything um to speak to us right and so we must be willing to be like god lead me by your spirit to understand when you are speaking to me to understand when it's from you 
the point that I'm making here is don't dismiss what looks strange or what looks weird or what you don't understand because but choose to ask questions ask the Lord look what do you mean by this sometimes we think that God isn't speaking to us or you know God hasn't told us things or God doesn't speak to us but actually you don't ask questions you know God you you see certain things in the world you you see certain um you have questions about maybe your, it could be even your schoolwork like you don't know how to revise a topic but instead you instead of asking god we run to all other sources and i'm not saying that we can't learn from youtube videos and god can even send you to a youtube video but we sometimes it's our heart we sometimes think that oh okay god won't can't tell me like this i remember when i was in my a levels and we were doing um research methods anyone who's done a level psychology knows what i'm talking about research methods and a lot of people don't like it and find it just too much a bit overwhelming with how much you need to remember etc and i remember i was like god look i don't want to be part of this whole i can't remember um this is too much show me how i can study this particular topic and it's like i'm not even joking i just within a couple seconds i heard table i'm thinking table table this table that then I was like, God, what do you mean by this? And then I saw like the table, like a quick image of a table, like that, you know, when you have Excel spreadsheet, for example. And I was like, okay, so I can use each of these concepts and put it in a table and group it like this. Let me tell you, till this day, I probably could remember like a few things from that table because God knew that, okay, blessings, she learns visually, she learns um, by seeing things, let's do it this way. And that helped me so much in my exams, right? And I was able to do well in that subject and so the point I'm trying to make is that is number one that God can speak to you and things that might seem strange number two um God is interested in your life and interested in your questions so ask God questions and even if you don't get it in that moment and because that, that that was one of those moments I was like oh that quick yeah but ask God questions and be willing to be like look Lord I don't understand even if you feel as though okay Lord I feel like I'm getting something but I don't understand can you make this more clear to me ask God questions now I'm going to talk quickly about kind of how God speaks to me how I hear the voice of God in my day-to-day -day life um, and by the way I say this to say that this is something that I'm still I still develop and I'm still growing in and but this is what I've learned and you know I always say that if you're a ladder up somewhat you're on the ladder and you're a few steps ahead of someone you can always pass something down to someone who is lower on the ladder i would say and what i'm going to share now is the way the lord currently speaks to me god has spoken to me in many different ways whether it be um physical presence the physical presence of god whether it be um sense of smell occasionally whether it be a quick image whether it be i remember there was a time where i would you know you can you almost you know the bible says out of um, your belly shall flow rivers of living water there will be there was a time I remember where it would be like certain specific words would come out and I knew it was from within so like I would hear specific words just like it could be one word but it would um like the Lord would help me to unpack it and so that was a time and one thing I would like to say with all of this is that I've noticed that in the Lord speaks to me in different ways and he changes that in different seasons. Like now I, I feel I um, mostly um, hear the voice of God, I'd say consistently. Number one, obviously through the word of God, spending time with God in the word. But I would say outside of that, even through my dreams. And I would say that even with my dreams, it's I noticed that I started to dream a lot more when I started to take them seriously. So if God is giving you, you're having maybe five dreams a night, loads of dreams a night, and you're not writing them down, expect that the dreams will go. And that's exactly what happened to me. There was a time where I used to dream a lot. And I remember like, I just completely, I stopped being like, okay, this is too much. I can't be bothered to be writing down all these dreams every five seconds, you know, like, I hope that, I don't even know if they're, they're making any sense. But then I remember it dawned on me like a year ago, I was like, no, I actually enjoy the Lord speaking to me in that way. And I asked God, Lord, please give me dreams back again. And I started to write my dreams down every time, every time, even though recently over late, I could do better writing them down. But I noticed the Lord speak to me about things. And there's certain things that dreams that I've looked back on and be like, oh, my goodness, like, I wish I asked God more about this because God was trying to tell me something. But I missed it in the moment because I was too busy, like, uh, uh. and so this is why I emphasize on asking God questions. Draw back to the word of God. Um, always draw back to the word. Let that form your foundation um, because God can 
God speaks through his word, right? And so, because he is the word. And so that, draw that, let that be your foundation. But God also speaks in terms of your, um, uses your imag your imagination, your sense of smell, your eyes, your well, your five senses, basically. Um, so yeah, be prepared for God to change and evolve how he speaks to you. It won't just be one way. Um, and there's things that changed when I first heard the voice of God to now. Um, but I really just want to encourage you and I'm making this video to let you guys know that the voice of God is available for you. The voice of God is um, there for you so that you can, um, number one, grow in relationship with him. But not only grow in relationship with him, grow in relationship with him to the point where you're able to overflow that into the lives of other people. Where you're able to encourage other people and share um, the things that the Lord is speaking to you about and be um, of great impact into other people's life you know one thing i love um and i pray for as well is the bible talks about the gifts of the spirit such as word of knowledge and um the gifts of tongue the gift of faith there's so many gifts available and we have to be able to ask and be like god look i desire this thing um use this thing out of you know the overflow of my time with you to bless other people and yeah that's all really have to share with you guys today i really hope that this has blessed you i hope that this has encouraged you to um number one know that you you hear the voice of god and number two be more alert of the way god is actually speaking to you to not dismiss and be like oh no i'm not hearing the voice of god but to choose to um ask god questions be like lord i don't understand this and yeah grow in that grow in the knowledge and the grace of god amen um i wish you guys the best and um ask me any questions in the comments if there's something that you think i missed that i should touch more on i could maybe make a part two in the future or talk about this further but god bless you guys um help i now hear the voice of god too much that is what i want to hear guys um, but yeah guys thank you so much for watching god bless you and bye for now stay blessed